Today, I wanted to show you some of the real potential of these custom GPTs that anyone can build. Imagine having an AI that not only assists you on the computer, but also makes phone calls for you in the real world. It would engage over the phone in real conversation and gather whatever crucial information you needed it to, all while the other person may not even know they're talking to an AI. Great. Thanks for concerning. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day. It could schedule doctor appointments for you, or call everyone on your guest list and confirm they're coming to your event, or make dinner reservations for you. It could even call around to all the pharmacies in your area and let you know which ones carry the medication you need. After these calls, the AI displays the transcript for you to read later. This is not only convenient, but could be a game changer for those with speech impediments or people who just hate talking on the phone. This isn't just a futuristic dream, it's a reality. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to build one. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create a custom GPT that does exactly this. It'll not only handle calls, but also provide you with a detailed transcript of every conversation. Now, with great power comes great responsibility, and I suspect this video will be a little more polarizing than my other videos. Just as this can improve our lives, it can also make it more complicated. I don't condone using this to perpetuate any scams or other nefarious uses, and I believe it's actually a violation of OpenAI's terms of service. But it's a reminder that AI can be a double-edged sword, so please be a good person and use this responsibly. To get started, I first want to give a brief overview of what GPTs are. We're thrilled to introduce GPTs. GPTs are tailored versions of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. These are only available for subscribers of ChatGPT+, but they're basically custom ChatGPTs, and you don't really need to know how to code. You're not changing the weights of the model or fine-tuning it, but providing attachments and prompts for the GPT to reference when interacting with a user. OpenAI has made this user interface where you can simply talk to the GPT and tell it what you want it to do, and then it'll update the code in the background. It lowers the bar development to just typing what you want. One of the cooler aspects of these are called actions. As the name implies, it allows the GPT to perform actions outside of the GPT through an API endpoint. OpenAI plans to open a marketplace for people to sell the GPTs that they build, and most people expect it to be the next Apple App Store. GPTs are really exciting, and today's example will let you get familiar with using them and have a super cool AI tool that you can show off to friends. To get started, the first thing we need to do is set up a free account on Bland AI. So go to bland.ai and then click start for free and fill in your information here with your first and last name and then you will need a phone number in order to sign up for this. Then click that you agree to the terms and sign up. Once you verify your account, you'll see this dashboard view here and you can just leave it open in a separate tab because we're gonna come back to it later. Now let's make the GPT that will run our AI calling assistant. You're gonna need a ChatGPT Plus account. So go to chat.openai.com. Assuming you have a ChatGPT Plus account, you'll see this explore section right here. And if you click that, it'll take you into the GPT section of ChatGPT. So you'll see GPTs that I've created here, as well as uh, recently used, and then official OpenAI GPTs here at the bottom. Click the create a GPT at the top here. It'll load a new page and here's where you can simply tell it what you want the GPT to do. Now, just like ChatGPT, if you ask it the same question twice, you can get two different answers. You can get some varying results using this UI. For the example today, I'm gonna set this up in the configure tab, which basically just lets us hard code the GPT and remove any variations. From here, you can name the GPT, whatever you want. So I'm gonna call mine AI calling assistant. Next, you need to give the bot a short description of what it does. So we'll say, an assistant to call and make appointments for you. The next section is the main instruction or prompt that the GPT will reference when it runs. This is where you can provide specific instruction of how it should work and interact with the user. I'll put the instruction I use in a Google Colab link in the video description. It should have everything you need so you can just copy and paste it from there. This will ensure that it works on your end and then you can tweak it after if you want. Just to quickly read what I put in the instruction section here, it says, as the appointment scheduler, your primary role is to assist users in setting up appointments by making phone calls on their behalf. Initiate the process by asking for the necessary details, the phone number to call, the purpose of the call, and the user's name for introduction. Start each call with a polite introduction. Hello, I'm calling on behalf of username and then the reason for the call. Your interaction should be courteous and focused on achieving the objective of the call. Once the call is completed, provide the user with a transcript of the conversation for their review. Always ensure clarity and communication and maintain a professional demeanor throughout the process. All right, so pretty straightforward, I think. After this, you have the conversation starter section. This is meant to help users know what they need to start using your GPT. You can leave these blank or put something in there like help me schedule a doctor's appointment, for example. Scrolling down, you can uncheck web browsing and Dolly, uh, and then I'm gonna leave code interpreter checked. 
Now we can add the action for our GPT. So click create new action. This is where you can supply the schema, which is like a roadmap for the GPT to use the API endpoints from Bland AI. Some people have actually made GPTs that you can provide the documentation website to, and it will map the schema for the API endpoints of the GPT you're trying to build. Think of this like a sequence or map of instructions that your GPT can use to perform actions using a third party API. In this case, we're gonna be using Bland AI. If you go to the video description, I have the schema we need to make this GPT work. So so you can just copy and paste it here. Once you paste it, you'll notice it loads the two available actions that our GPT can do, initiate call and get transcript. These are both tied to the endpoints that Bland AI has defined in their documentation. I'll link their documentation in the video description because honestly, you can do a lot with this and I'm only scratching the surface here. They'll let you batch multiple calls, train the AI to have any voice you want, or even answer your calls for you. It's super cool and the team over there were super nice in helping me get this working. It's worth mentioning, this is not a sponsored video. I just like what they're building over there. So now we need to connect our Bland AI account to the GPT that we just created. I definitely killed hours of my life on this part right here because I couldn't get it to work. Bruh. But lucky for you, I'm just gonna give you the solution. So give me a like and be sure to subscribe if you find this stuff interesting. It helps me out a ton and keeps me going making content for everyone. Okay, so first get your API key from Bland AI. Go back to your account and click your profile and then API keys. Click the little eyeball here so you can actually see the key and then copy it. Don't bother trying to steal mine. I'm gonna replace it before I release this video. Go back to the GPT that we're building and click the little gear next to the authentication. Next, click API key and now click custom and put your API key here where it says hidden. And for the custom header name, put authorization exactly how I have it here on the screen. That little trick stumped me for longer than I'd like to admit, uh, but then you can click save. And here's a good place to click the save button for the GPT itself. This will save the GPT. Now I've had a few issues with stuff saving sometimes. So I found if you click back, it seems to work a little better. Now go back to the create section and we're gonna use the create section to give our GPT a picture and it'll generally clean up the GPT to make sure it's running properly. I'm gonna say to make my picture futuristic but minimalistic with a telephone. It's gonna think for a minute and then it'll ask you if you wanna modify anything tell it that it looks good and to update my GPT with the latest information. Once you hit enter, you'll get this little gear here, which is important because it means it's updating, but that's it. We just created our own AI calling assistant GPT and now we're ready to test it out. So for our example, let's say, call my friend Tom and confirm that we're planning to meet at 7 p.m. at Nobu in Malibu tomorrow. I'm James and his number is 1234567890. You do need to make sure and include the country code with the phone number. And that's it, and then press enter. It'll ask you to confirm and then watch the magic happen. It's gonna ping the API again, and then provide you with a real-time transcript. It's gonna start speaking to the person and even talk back if the person has questions or comments. Hello? Hey there, just confirming our meeting at 7 p.m. at Novi in Malibu tomorrow. Does that work for you? Yeah, I should be there. Great, see you at 7 p.m. at Novi in Malibu tomorrow. All right, bye. Goodbye. Once your friend confirms the information or completes the task that you asked it to, it's gonna hang up the call and then it's gonna print the transcript right here in the window. It's a pretty cool tool and Bland AI gives you $2 to play around with or they let you buy more credits. And again, no sponsorship here. I just think this is really cool. Play around with it and there's certainly a ton of features with this tool that I didn't cover. I could easily make 10 videos just on Bland AI. So let me know in the comments if that's something you wanna see. Reminder again, please be a good person. Do not do anything stupid with this. My hope is that this inspires you to build some cool GPTs and start to expand your scope of what's possible with these. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos and exploring more of what you can do with GPTs and other AI tools. That's all for now. Until next time, thanks.